Thank you to Books for sponsoring today's video. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be doing a review of the Books Note Air 3C. I did an unboxing of this, I believe it was like two weeks ago. I will have it linked if you wanna check it out and see everything inside the box. In that video, I cover a lot of the basic specs of the device, but in this video, I wanted to take more of a look into who this tablet was made for and the experience using it in different ways. If you're not familiar with a device or devices like this, this is the Books Note Air 3C, like I said, and it is basically an e-ink tablet. Now, e-ink basically means that the display mimics the look of paper with the look of it, the texture, all of that, um, and it's just a lot closer to paper than most displays. This device also has like a paper feel texture, which makes it feel like you're actually writing on paper. It's less harsh on your eyes as well. And overall, it's just closer to a paper replacement than just a regular tablet. So I've been using this device for a few weeks now, just trying it out, taking notes on it and testing out all the features that it has. And I'm gonna be taking a look now in this review at how it performs as a device dedicated to certain things. So we're gonna be taking a look at note taking, reading, um, and then just as an Android tablet, um, how it performs and who I recommend this device to. So first off, let's take a look at the device as a note taking device. So we have a dedicated notes app on the BooksNote Air 3C, and this is what I recommend most to take notes on this device. I did try out other apps, but there is quite a distinct lag between the pen and then the writing happening. So the notes app has no lag and it has all the tools that you actually need. So that is definitely my recommendation for using this device. When you're creating a note, they have so many templates that you can choose from that can fit your needs, but you can also import your own custom PDFs or images to use as templates as well. Now for the actual note taking, we have five different tools that you can use. So so it is a fountain like pen, so it has pressure sensitivity. Then we have like a paintbrush, we have a ballpoint pen, then we have a pencil, which is actually my favorite. And then lastly, we have a marker slash highlighter if you wanna use it as that. Um, and all of these can work with color as well. Because of the technology with the Kaleido 3 display, it allows you to see color on this e-ink display, which is actually really rare. Not a lot of people are doing this yet. So this is really helpful. So you can have color in your notes, which is really nice. All the markers can have different colors. I love using this for highlighting or just emphasizing things in my notes. The colors are obviously not as vibrant as you'd find on a regular like LCD display, but it's nice that we still have a color selection here. Also with the writing experience, because of the paper-like texture that the display has, it makes it really comfortable to write on. It really does feel like you're writing on paper. The pen plus that you get with the device is just a very comfortable stylus. They have a Pen 2 Pro, which you could also get, which has like an eraser at the back, but this stylus has held up really well. And the feeling of writing on the display is really close to paper, which I really like. As for some other tools that we have here that just enhances the whole note-taking experience, we also have a shapes tool where you can choose the shape that you wanna make, the type of stroke that it has and how thick that line is. We also have a fill tool so that we can fill those shapes or whatever you are drawing. The lasso tool is just really nice to move things around in your document and just easily rearrange things. And then you also have the option for text here. So with this, you have the option to just type out text in text boxes, or you can also write your things down in handwriting and then we'll convert it to text, which is really nice if you don't wanna break the flow of writing things down with a pen. You can also just easily insert images, links, files, all that in your notes as well if you wanna reference anything. We also just have some helpful AI features that just helps enhance the note-taking experience. So first off, we have Shape Perfection, which just allows you to snap a shape into a perfect version of whatever it is you're drawing. I like to use this especially when just drawing like straight lines and things like that. We also have Strike Through Erase, which just allows you to scribble over something that you've written or drawn and it will erase that thing. And then lastly, we have have lasso recognition which allows you to circle something and then it will turn into a lasso so you can easily move things around. So with all that being said, again, the note-taking app that you get on the device is my main recommendation for taking notes on this device. Third-party apps tend to be laggy, whereas this is just a very smooth experience. I've really been enjoying the note-taking experience on this device, and I found myself reaching for this over anything else that I have available to me. Next up, I wanna talk about the reading experience on the Note Air 3C, so basically using it as an e-reader. I prefer using e-readers. I know a book has its own charm to it, but I've just always been drawn to e-readers and it's 
way better than using your phone. It's less harsh on your eyes. And with this device, it does have a front light, which you can adjust the brightness of, and also the temperature, which is really great for at night, when you're reading at night, especially. Having that blue light is not always so great. So adjusting the temperature is also something that I love with e-readers. I downloaded the Kindle app on here just because that's where I find most of my books and read most of my books. So the Kindle app is really great on here. It's basically the same experience as you would find on maybe your phone, but but on a e-ink device. So that is really great. You have highlighting in color, which I absolutely love, which you don't find on Kindles devices. You can also see all your book covers in color, which I absolutely love. It's just really nice to see. And then I think where this really shines is if you love reading graphic novels or comics, things like that, it is absolutely amazing for that. The display we have here, like I mentioned, is the Collider 3 display. And with that, you have 300 DPI for black and white, which is basically how fast it refreshes your display. So that is really nice if you're just reading books um, and it's just, it's a smooth experience. It doesn't look laggy or anything. And then for color, it has 150 DPI, which is really great for comics and things like that. It's also not slow at all or laggy. And you can also adjust in settings how fast you want the refresh to be um, but yeah so far my experience with it has been great for reading but that's just using the Kindle app and obviously you can install other apps as well like the Bible app or things like that whatever you do your reading on but it's also really great is the default reader that you get on the Note Air. In their reader you can actually annotate directly onto the books, write things on, highlight. It's just a more tactile experience and it actually feels more like you're writing in the book rather than just making little annotations in like a typed note because you can actually like write in the margins and things like that which is such a fun experience when reading a book on an e-reader and it's such a unique experience that you don't get on all devices so that is one of my favorite things is the fact that you can do that in their reader app. This is great for PDFs if you want to annotate PDFs, if you have any EPUB books. They also have a store with some books, mostly like classics and things like that, where you can get a book and then annotate it in their reader app as well. So that is my overall opinion about reading on this device. Again, if you are someone who loves reading graphic novels, this is an amazing device for you because not all devices handle graphic novels very well. And because we have color on here and it's still an e-ink device, it's just a game changer. Then obviously we have to take a look at this as just like an Android tablet because we have the Play Store on here, which allows you to download apps. Um, like I said, I've downloaded the Kindle app on here. I've downloaded the Bible app. I've downloaded even Notion, which I use just to reference things if I wanted to have have like a, a reference for maybe when I'm doing a video, I can have it here, my Notion pages, all that, which I absolutely love that you can have these apps on this device as well. And because we have some limitations with how apps perform, like social media apps because of the color limitations, it's nice to have kind of like apps that focus on productivity on here, which limits distractions. So for instance, I can have all my productivity apps on here and not have to worry about getting distracted on like a social media platform or something like that. So this is really great for focus work, I think. Also some other things that's really great about the performance of it is the calendar memo app I really like because it has like a little section where you can handwrite memos for each day. It also shows you which notes you made on what date, which is also really helpful to have. You also have books drop which allows you to easily send files from your phone to the books tablet and then back and forth so that's also really helpful and you can have images on here you can have documents on here so that is really helpful as well and you can also download apps like audible on here whatever you want on the play store it's there you can browse through their gallery of apps and see how it works on this device for you so with all this information being said who is this device for i think this is really great for people who are looking for an e-reader but also a note-taking device all in one and this device really shines in those two categories so highly recommend that if you're looking for something like that also like I've already said it people who like reading graphic novels um, I think this is just one of the best 
things that you'll find for that because of the color. You don't want to read a graphic novel in black and white, let's be honest. So it really is great for that as well. And then lastly, I think it's just great for anyone who's looking for a paper replacement. If you're tired of having a bunch of different notebooks and things and you want a very close to paper like experience, this is also going to be great for you. Like I said, the display, the fact that it is an e-ink display, it's way closer to paper than any other display will be. So it's really great for that as well. So I think those are the cases that of people that I think this device really caters for. But that was my review of the Books Note Air 3C. Let me know your thoughts. What are your opinions about this device? Is this something that you would find yourself looking into that you would like to try out? I will have a link in the description if you want to get this device for yourself or anyone during this holiday season. I think this is a great gift for anyone. I've really just had such a fun time chasing out this device. I've never had something like this. So it's been such a fun experience just trying it out and seeing my thoughts and opinions. So I've really had a blast with this. I really hope you did enjoy these videos as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.